three, two, one, zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor, extending our reach while expanding our research and space. It's the 5th of June, 2002. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. Three new residents headed for the International Space Station. American astronaut Peggy Whitson is leaving the planet for the very first time. By the end of her 15-year career, Peggy will have undertaken 10 spacewalks become the first female commander at the International Space Station and spend more time in space than any other American before her. Now, it's September the 3rd, 2017. Peggy is coming back to Earth for the last time, having spent a total of 665 days in orbit. But as if this wasn't enough, Record-breaking Peggy has one more string to her bow. This is Tamra Davis. She's an astrophysicist, not an astronaut, so well-placed to tell us about Peggy's other achievement. Once it was realized that the speed of light was constant to everybody, weird things followed. For example, time dilation. If the speed of light appears constant to everybody, it means that time has to vary and travel at different rates for different people. Let me try and explain. Here we go. Time dilation means time appearing to speed up or slow down, depending on how fast you're going relative to anything else. The distance squared, square rooted. As Professor Davis is showing by deriving this equation. And this is actually the equation that Einstein came up with for special relativity to explain how time can be different to different observers. And that's why Peggy the astronaut is a real life bona fide time traveler. After she's spent a lot of time here in orbit, when she comes back to Earth, her clock will not have advanced as far as ours, which means she ends up younger than she would have been if she'd been here on Earth. Granted, the difference is only 0.02 seconds in her case, even after over 600 days up in space, but it is a real example of time travel in action. 